Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So if you're new here, my name is Astrid. I do travel and fashion videos every week. But this week I decided that we would talk about taking ru rush decisions. Um, also, I was thinking about renaming my channel Unpopular I uh, Opinions because I, that's what I'm all about right now, apparently. So yeah. Um, anyways, if you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you want to see some fashion travel videos and apparently uh, not so popular opinions as well because uh, that's what I do. <laughs> And uh, let's get into the video. So today I really wanted to talk about taking rush decisions and like really, um, I forgot the word. Taking impulse decision. It's something that there is so, so, so many uh, LinkedIn articles, uh, I don't know, Daily Mail, whatever. I, that's not a reference, Astrid. Yeah, anyways, there's so many articles I would tell you, don't ever do like decision don't ever take rush decision don't take impulsive decision they're so bad blah 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 never never do something just because you just had the idea think everything through and so on and so forth and I'll be all very honest with you if you're someone that's completely confident and someone who never doubts anything that you're doing then yeah don't ever take any impulsive decision because if you're able to think things through and stay uh, empowered and confident in this, then great, don't watch this video. <laughs> but if you're someone that sometimes doubt their decision or overthink things or e always imagine things the worst way possible, trust yourself in impulse decision. Some of my best decisions ever were complete impulse and I'll give you two examples. The first one, which is the, the not so exciting one, is the day I decided to go on Erasmus when I started my studies, I didn't want to do Erasmus because people told me that the best way to have the school that I wanted after um, was to not do Erasmus. So I was thinking about not doing it. I really, I, so to me, it was clear I was not going to do Erasmus. But then I really didn't like my situation. I didn't like the place where I was, uh, where I was, and. Um, one day, I there was the Erasmus sign-up paper where you would write your name and say that you're in for the auditions to have Erasmus. And I walked by it and I was just like so pulled to this thing. So I just wrote my name, did the audition and I got in. And then I realized, but wait, I didn't want to do that at the first place. Why, why did I do that? It's so stupid of me, blah, blah. And it was complete impulse decision. And it was by far one of the best decision ever. First of all, because people who thought that Erasmus would get in the way of me getting to that college were so wrong. You'll, If you want to see more of that, there's a video of me on how I got into this college that I wanted and you'll understand a lot more about this. But yeah, they were so wrong. Erasmus is actually the thing that got me into it, that got me into the university that I am now, which is the university that I wanted the most. So. This completely impulsive and completely unpopular decision is exactly that what got me into where I wanted to go. So sometimes trust yourself with impulse, trust yourself with feelings and hints and really, really, I know so many experts on life and coaches and stuff will tell you impulse decisions are bad, but trust me, a stranger from the internet, Sometimes they are very beneficial. And I'll show you the second reason. When I was about 10, uh, I did this, we did this program in my family where uh, you sign up and you send a massive dossier about yourself to a company and like an association. And they pick for you a exchange student. And then you as a child go to, in their family and then you, together you come back to the family. Each go six months abroad to learn the new language. Also to do that, because they're sending minors abroad, the company wants to make sure that you're in a safe place. So every family has to get interviewed fully with all the family members. And this interview is very important in this process because if they feel like the parents are not too into it or if they feel like the children are not too into it or the parents are not very supportive and stuff, they'll call the process off and say that you cannot go. The rule in my family was only one exchange because, you know, my parents are letting their child go for six months and when you love your kid, you don't want it to be gone for so long. So they were willing to do the sacrifice for us of letting their children go for six months, but only one time because they loved it so much. But yeah, um, so 
I already done my exchange in England and I could speak English and so it came the time of my brother's interview and um, and <laughs> came the time of my brother's interview and it was the end of his interview and we've been the whole family has been interviewed they asked us various questions and all of a sudden they asked do you have any question or request and this this is not even an impulsive decision, it's just my brain decided by itself without ask, asking me. I said, and I promise you, I didn't even think this through, I just said, yeah, I want to go again. Now that doesn't seem like a big deal, but the fact is, if my parent, that I was giving an ultimatum to my parents, because if they had to say no to me, it would have mean that they're not completely supportive of the process, so my brother wouldn't be able to go. So my parents had no choice but to say that they were supportive of me. So basically, with the, at the age of 10, I decided for my own that I would leave the house for six months, go to a German-speaking country against my parents' will, if you will. Which is really unlike me, I'm someone I, I'm a very, very family-oriented person and my parents are absolutely everything to me, so normally I would never do something like that. But I felt like this was the thing to do, so I did it. <laughs> And with 10 years, I stood there in front of the jury and I said, well, I want to go again. And they're like, oh, well, where do you want to go? And I was like, I want to learn German. I want to go in a German-speaking country. And within a day, we had to fill all the files and they said, we've already done an interview with you this year, so it's okay, we don't need to do a second one. And I left for um, Switzerland and I learned German there. And this is a completely impulsive decision. However, this decision, this decision got me into the high school I wanted. This decision got me into the Erasmus program. This decision took, got me into the university I wanted. And this decision took me in my internship right now, which is what also I wanted. So yeah, any expert would have told me, you took a rash decision, you took an impulsive decision, you're crazy. But you know what? It got me into where I wanted. So. Trust your guts sometimes. Sometimes, yeah. I'm, and I'm not, when I say impulsive decision, I'm not talking about impulsive buy or stuff. But sometimes, if you really have the feeling that this is right and it's not harming anyone, because I don't want to hear responsibilities about weird people doing crazy stuff. But yeah, if you're taking a decision that's not harming anyone, but you really feel that for you it's important and it's worth it and it's what it's supposed to do, just do it. It sounds crazy, it's going to be so scary, but sometimes it's worth it, especially, as I mentioned at the beginning, especially if you're someone that's anxious or overthinking, because I'm an overthinker, totally. And I know that as an overthinker, I tend to like have these really cool decisions and do like, I'm going to do that and I'm going to do that, and then I think about it, I think about it, I think about it, and I don't do it. So if you're an impulsive per if you're someone who tends to doubt things, don't let yourself overthink things and then not do things that you wish you'd do just because you overthought them. Whatever you, your gut is telling you to do, do it and do it right now because if you leave a little bit of time between having the idea and taking the decision, you might not do it just because you're doubting yourself. So yeah, that was a piece of information that I wanted to share with you this week. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next week. But until then, have fun. Bye guys!